Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my speed paint videos and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make them and how I edit them. So the last speed paint I did was of this dude and firstly for this paint once you've finished doing a drawing you can watch it and you can also download the movie but whenever I try and do that it ends up being too quick and none of the options are long enough to make a decent video. So hopping right into it, what I would do is press play and I would use the screen recorder that I have and just record the screen as this is on. I usually record it in a portrait mode though because then it's much easier to try and resize when I do the editing. So I wait until the video has been fully recorded and then once I have done that I close it and save the screen recorded part. Then to edit, I use PowerDirector Pro. Now for the editing. Let's make a new project here and I'll show you how I edit it. I keep the aspect ratio as a landscape and I don't tend to name them, but you probably should so that they don't get all mixed up like mine do. So since I don't want to just have the plain background of the Abyss Paint one and I want it to look nice, I always grab an aesthetic image first and resize it. So for example, if I went here into download, so here I grabbed an aesthetic image and what I would do is resize it by using crop. Then once I'm happy with the crop, I will make this very, 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 very long because the video is obviously going to be quite long when it goes over it. So I'll just extend this. So since I didn't have the original screen recording of the speed paint on my device, I went and quickly recorded a part here. And what I'd do at this point in the editing is get the video of the speed paint. So I'd go here. I'll use AZ Recorder Free to record my stuff because I am broke. And I'd add this. Making sure that it's on this, by the way, the extra layers, because then it goes on top. And I will just resize this to look decent. And then once I do that, it'll be right above here, so it just looks a lot nicer than if it was a plain background. Then I'll edit out any parts that went slow or not interesting. I didn't record the full thing for this, I just recorded like half of it. Then after that, for the speed paints, I'll move this forward a bit so that it has some time to do the start and the introduction and the text. And I'll make sure that there's some time afterward too. Then what I tend to do is add in my text quickly and I will use the title designer here to edit them. I go between a few different ones but I tend to just look for a nice font and make it a pretty colour so like I'll just scroll. Let's put impact and then I'll make it a pretty colour. And then I'll always add one of these a border because it just makes the text stand out more. So I'll put my text there and I'll put some text at the end for the outro. And then the last part is pretty easy. I just have to get some music. Most music is copyrighted, so that's really tricky to get around. But to get around that, I tend to just get stuff from the YouTube library. So I'll scroll through the downloads until I get to the stuff that I usually use. I usually try to go for like a lo-fi kind of vibe, which is hard to find within YouTube library, so I just use Easy Sunday, Hanging Out, and 1625. So I just add those into the music part until it covers all of it. I'll often end up using two or sometimes even all three of them, because my speed paint's are usually the longest type of videos that I do. I'll wait for this to load and then I'll go through it and make sure that the volume level is right and that everything looks okay. I sometimes add GIFs on top which I've downloaded from Google but I'm not going to do that in this example. Then once all of that is done I make sure that it's all cut and timed alright. And then I will exit here. 
and go to produce the video. I try to do it in as high quality as I can, but sometimes I don't have enough space, so I have to go with just HD. And then I click produce and it will start doing that. That is how I make my speed paints. You can still do this without getting PowerDirector Pro, but it will leave a watermark in the corner if you're okay with that. It doesn't tend to ruin the whole thing, but it is kind of in your face, so it's honestly your choice. Thank you for watching, I hope that this helped you out with making your own speed paints. I also want to add that when I'm recording the speed paint, I'll either have the settings on to not record the audio, or I'll take the audio myself out like this, and go into volume and just make it zero. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped you out, and stay safe. Goodbye.